everyone, Alex Matt here, and welcome back to another round of The Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild Revisit. Last time, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. No, not that. Here's Poth. Last time, we took care of a few things over here. We got a shrine over here with Cass. Took care of another shrine here, Cass, which was a pain in the backside. And we finally came back down here. <clears throat> and finally, finally, started going into the Farron region. Found a shrine off in the distance here. Found a shrine here. We also mended someone's heart up here. And really jumped off, and Cuckoo is still up there. I think I'll get him back with a little bit of a warp. Then we came down here to the Ludwite village. <clears throat> we found some treasure out here. And then we helped out. Basically helping this guy out here by clearing out this beach side. And that was about it for this. Oh, we came here, we found some good stuff in here. But this time, however, folks, we are going to be continuing through the Eventide area. Down here in Farron. We're going to be going to the uh, Eventide Isle in a moment. But first, we need to head up. With a new garb. Because of... Oh, that's right. We need to do our, before we move any further, folks, it's time to see what our rewards from our three Zelda Amiibos we've got. We have to see if we gain any good stuff today. Firstly, we got the Ocarina of Time Link Amiibo. What'd we get? We got meat. That's always beneficial. Ooh, raw prime meat. At first, we've actually gotten that. And what we get? The Cap of Time! Sweet! The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time gives you the uh, Cap of Time, the Tunic of Time, and the, you know, the bottom, uh, the, 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 tie, the Boots of Time. So, yeah, that's cool. We actually got an Ocarina of Time headpiece. That's interesting. Nice. So, that worked off to a great start. This is the, the Smash Brothers Link amiibo, which also corresponds with Twilight Princess. So, so if you have that, you're good to go. We have Volt Fruit. A new item we have not gotten yet, and what do we get for the Link Amiibo? Fire arrows! Okay, that's useful. Now we got for the dangerous one, we have Gavin Ganondorf. What does Ganondorf give us? Some barrels with some money, and some arrows too. Yeah, he's actually... Ganondorf is being quite useful! And giving us a Luminous Stone equipped! Sweet! Let's see what we got. We need a big sword for this. Some money. Oh, definite money we need. Because we're always low on money. Alright, sweet. I think it's no better. I think it's no fitting. Better to wear our new cap. Because we need a we need a Zelda cap for this adventure. Doesn't sound bad at all. And Cuckoo flew all the way up here. Cuckoo! Why did you go up that way? Because first, folks, uh, we're going to go ahead up into a place called the Marshes up here. These marshes, <clears throat> the Henu Pond, the Wetlands here, and this marsh holds a shrine for us. In the form of the Brothers Grimm. The Brothers Grimm is three Hinoxes. These Hinoxes are of the all the variety of levels. So we have a red, blue, and black one we have to take care of. But if you plan your, you play your cards right, you don't have to attack them. You could just grab the orb off of them. But, you know, it could be harder than it looks. I need to place a mark. I think I have to put the mark. I think the mark is... Right here. So I know where I'm going. I hope, I can. I hope these... And these keys won't take me down because I don't want to be killed by keys again. And we are getting very close, if not passing the, the uh, limit to getting our Master Sword. Probably won't be getting the Master Sword in this session either, but given the circumstances, of course. Is that we're just trying to get around this here. Let's see. Ooh, there's the blue Hinox. So you're trying to get a hold of him is not going to be hard. Just running away from him is going to be the fun part. You need to get up on top of these bones here. Now, <clears throat> normally you would have to kill the Hinoxes 
to grab the orb that's around their neck. But since we can actually land on their belly by gliding down, we should have no problems being able to pick this thing up and then run away. So, like a so. Oh, the Dragon Bone Buckle Club. We can't. Uh, yeah, don't itch your... Don't keep itching. Go! Run! Book it! Hey! You took my orb! No, I didn't! I'm out of here. This is my orb! Mine! And mine alone! You leave me alone! <clears throat> the Hinox will chase you for a good long while, so you're gonna have to book it. Again, you could kill the guy, surely, but you can just basically skip the fight altogether if you want to. As he's the part of the middle kin. Again, it's all about the Brothers Grimm here. There are three pedestals, it doesn't matter which one you put into. Booyah! Alright, we gotta book it. We're out of here. Oh, you wanna fight, huh? You wanna fight? Oh, you can't get beyond that way. Oh. Okay. You've given up. Good. I was hoping you would give up. That way I don't actually have to fight you. <laughs> Again, I could fight you. But, oh yeah, here's the little uh, trailer shot. Yeah, if you want about the trailer shot for the when the Ascendo Switch was released, this was the area they showed off. So it's kind of interesting that they kept it in the area in the game. So we have the youngest kin here, of the Brothers Grimm. You can head off this way, land right on him. Take it easy. Pick this up, and should we get... Go and book it! Book it! We gotta run! Run! Run away! The Hinox are the youngest kin. These are like the, okay, those are like the unique Hinoxes. It's very weird that they're unique, in my understanding. <clears throat> but again, this is all part of the, the Brothers Grimm Shrine Quest. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight the the oldest one because there's no real good way of getting away from him. And also, that one also has enemies around him. So yeah, we're going to have to fight the uh, the oldest kin of Hinoxes. Oh, not going to be too bad in that regard. I'm going to put this in its pedestal so that the ball is gone. Nope. Oh, and he also gave up too. Sweet! <coughs> Sweetness! Yeah, let's activate the quest. He's right here. The ancient orbs guarded by the giants of the Mount Tyrant lead to the shrine. The three giant brothers, or as I call it, the Brothers Grimm. So we got one more orb to tackle. Like over here. I guess you could take out the minions. This is night, sort of night time, but now we got these guys in the way. Get out of here. <clears throat> Stall things. Now I'll just grab your parts. I'll sell those later for money. <coughs> Why are you jumping around like that? How about I shock you with this? Baya, booya. Again, use water to your advantage. A thunderstorm rod. That is a new item. We haven't seen that before. That's certainly like the upgrade version of the thunder rod. Let's see if I can get up here and land on the uh, the Hinox up here. This guy is guarded by minions, so we're going to have to be a little stealthy, if you know what I mean. Oh boy. Let's see, looks like someone is being... Is he going after... He's going after the goat. Come on, you. He can't see you above him. Can he? <clears throat> okay, gotta make sure the stout enemies die too. Oh, I hit the guy. I hit the Hinox by the accident. 
Alright, time to fight this guy. Oh, I got bombs. Do I have bombs? I don't have any shock arrows. Let's do a triple shot. Take you out like that. Gotta be careful with my stuff here. Yeah! Take that, you! I just need the orb from you. You could have made this easier, but I doomed myself. You are going to die. I'm, keep, I'm gonna keep up myself up here. This is the simplest way to kill this guy. I'm far away from all the other guys. They're not attacking me. And I'm having a ball. Let's see what we can do about him, huh? He's a little... Hey, buddy! Oh, I don't want to do that. You're angry, aren't you? And you're not moving for whatever reason. Did you pick up a... He picked up a bomb barrel. I don't think I've ever seen him pick up a bomb barrel like that, or a bomb barrel. So he does have range. But see, now he's covering up his eye, because he knows he's being attacked there. But... Don't need about that. Gonna keep switching up arrow types so I don't run out of arrows too fast. Hoo yah! I know this is not as much as interesting as you would want it to be, but this is the fastest. This is the easiest way of taking him down, apparently. <laughs> Cause it's weird that he's not coming closer towards me. Yes, he is throwing items at him, at me, and oh yeah, he's picking up bomb barrels from the ground. He's digging them up. Land of bow's about damage. No! I don't want the... Well, let's see. There we go! He's dead. Ha 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 ha! The Brothers Grimm is dead. Only had to kill one. Hey, you! Yeah! A sheared gourmet steak. Ooh. Hey, stop throwing my orb, you! B blue begoblin. I'm annoyed by that. There we go. Now let's pick up the night spell alongside it. That'll help me out. Cool, got some Hinox stuff. And Hinox guts. Essentially, that's a way to sell them or basically make a more more effective potion of uh, elixirs and whatnot. Because the more the higher difficulty the uh, item of the Hinox guts or the Lionel guts will get you, you know, better elixirs. Yep. So we'll take care of that. A gold rupee. Yeehaw! I'll take that. That is money. What is this? Rusty Claymore? Who needs a rusty Claymore? I need this. <laughs> yes, the Brothers Grimm is done. Ooh, there could be some good stuff here. Hold on a second. Anything good? It didn't pop out anything. Amber. Oh, what did I do up here? Ooh, got some opals. A fang and an opal. Alright. Cool awesomeness. Get up this way. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the whole quest line for the Brothers Grimm. Not very not very much a detailed quest, and as I have I showed you here, you can easily cheese it on multiple fronts. Oh, and we got rain coming down. Man, I'm so sick of the rain. Ugh. Alright, well, let's get this orb back into its pedestal here and get our shrine. Because, oddly enough, there isn't very many, um, shrines in this region. On top of this mountain. Yeah, for the most part, again, you think that with all the shrines they put into this world, you think they would put some more evenly spaced, but no, it's this top of this mountaintop where there's barely any shrines here. And if you go look at some other regions, such as, like, saying. The Herba region, where there's 18 of the, of the cursed things. I would say, man, they could have put some of those shrines, you know, somewhere, you know, down here. Like, there's so many places to explore, and with... And again, the shrines are basically the idea of Nintendo going, you know what? <clears throat> we need to have people explore. Drop down islands and whatnot. Nope. We gotta keep, uh... You gotta keep those shrines in designated areas and whatnot. <clears throat>
I actually do have enough rubies now to actually get, I think, all the upgrades for uh, the house, too. So that I can finish up that house quest. Yes, yes, yes. I fit for the shrine. Give me my reward. Firstly, what's this? A great thunder blade. My inventory is full. And Hetsu's all the way in the Lost Woods, which we're nowhere near. Yep, you're dropped. And we got a great thunder blade. Thunder blade, thunder blades. Alright, time to get the real reward. The orb of spirit. Oh yeah. We're almost to another another heart container. Again, I want to have to start the double rows of hearts. Just so I can confirm that, yes, we do have enough hearts for the Master Sword. Because, again, you only need 13 hearts to get the Master Sword. And we're nowhere near it. <laughs> so, it's only better fitting if we can just keep uh, the ideals of hearts. I guess I could use this next one as a stamina upgrade to get at least some extra stamina. Though it's not really helpful in that instance. Not right now, it's not. Because I'm covered in wet rain. Alright. Our next destination... We'll mostly be over here. That's where we're going to next. Because you can see out in the distance, there's a shrine out there. Just a shrine randomly out in the distance. But it's being guarded by a camp of uh, bagoblins with its own rewards. Let's jump down this way. Do, 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 boo, do, boo, do. Oh, there's a. Po uh, hey, hey! Cuckoo! We're off! Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Put fear into the enemies. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, go, go. There's no need to be scared now. It's just rain. Didn't mean to harm. Okay. This is not working. There we go. Now we're off the hill. We'll go up and get this shrined, and then we'll move on to. Oh, ah, da, da, da. I saw it. I saw a flower disappear. Might as well grab the Korok seed that's here. Alright, where's that flower gone? I don't see a flower. Oh, it's over there. The flower is over there! Let's go get it. And... Oh, it's behind the tree. And where'd it go? Is it up in the tree? No. Oh, it's right here. Gotta keep looking around for it. Oh, it's over there. How many flowers does this guy have? I don't see the flower. Where did the flower go? The flower behind, behind here? This is wasting my time. Where did the, where did the flower go? Didn't go up in the tree, did it? I don't think it would. Cuckoo, did you see where that flower went? It probably went up into the tree, which is probably I can't climb because it's raining. Even though these tree branches should save it all. Oh, there's eggs up here. Yeah, that tree that... That flower disappeared. Unless it's somewhere off in the distance behind this tree. Well, that's odd. Where'd the flower go? Mm, oh, there it is. Haha! -ha! See? Now I found it. <laughs> Many hours later. <laughs> I found it! I found it! Yeah. You had too many flowers, good sir. You had one too many good flowers to hide there. Oh, I don't like you, Slime. I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's go after this distance here. <clears throat> oh, sorry for my coughing, folks. I'm still recovering from a sort of a sickness, a cold or whatnot, some cough. Because I was we would be recording this uh, earlier, but uh, got got like a hit with like different grim 
grim sicknesses from like I think it was food I think it was that got me ill but I'm over it now and just a original cold original cough Oh, it's not. I'm not. Okay. I did not mean to affect you guys. Do I have my fennec bow with me? No, I don't. I don't think I have a distance bow at all. Let's do this like so. Take care of you. Hey, you. Take care of you. There we go. This is so stealthy. Booyah! And now let's do a bit of that. Booyah! That took out most of the competition. Haha! -ha. It's like, what happened? Something just exploded in our face. Hey, you! Okay, that's not working. You keep hitting me too often. I don't like you hitting me like this. I'm going to use this boomerang at your face. Booyah, 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 bye, die. Booyah. And that's how it's done. Thank you. Ooh, you got some good stuff. You have nice broadswords that, that are holding more than 25. Hmm. Probably do 26 is probably what it is. Hmm. You gave me some good stuff. That's our first time actually going after the Black Book Goblins. Because after a while, at least according to in-game XP system that's on, uh, the more enemies you kill off the Great pl Plateau, <clears throat> the enemies start to get harder as a result. Ah! I have to drop a weapon to get a weapon, drop the other weapon, and get a new weapon out of it. <coughs> right there. Let's give him a nice broadsword. Alright, cool. We're off. Alright, Cuckoo. Come here, though. You need to go off that shrine. I can't carry more of those. Well, it's bows. I can't carry more bows. That won't. Again, we're going to try to get to the Lost Woods eventually. I want my Master Sword <laughs> so badly, but we can't get that. We can't get it yet until I can at least confirm that I do have 13 hearts. Which means we need two more hearts in our instance to basically to confirm that. There's a bull! Alright, let's try this. Yeah, this will be a major... Okay, I was not expecting to do that, but that works out just as fine. We're going off into the roads. It's time to go after a major test of strength. Let's go do this bad boy. Yep. A major test of strength we've got here. And this is our first one we've encountered. No, it's a modest. A modest test of strength. So this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. You! Ooh, you've got guardian weapons I want. Let's get our sword out. Come on now. Haha! <laughs> I shocked you to death. Come on, you! Oh! Flurry rush you to death! Oh, Thunderbase about. Oh, you're gonna spit at me, huh? I'll just wave right behind here. Huzzah! Ooh, yeah! Oh, it broke! I was not expecting that. Oh yeah, I canceled out your shot, didn't I? Ooh yeah! Swift yourself to death. 
He's going to spin the air, though. Booyah! Shock you to death. Oh, he's going to go into uh, his blue system, isn't he? Oh, no, he's going to go into his laser. But yeah! I'm going to shock you to death. I'm going to stop you in your tracks. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Surprise that. Shield took that. Booyah, booyah, get your timed off. Take that. And I'm gonna go with this. Boom yah! <laughs> that does it there, folks. <laughs> I like it. Agent Balax Plus. And I think we can get rid of a, a weaker blue shield for a stronger blue shield. And we're going to collect all the materials we can. Because if we want to grab some of those ancient arrows from Robbie when we get there. We'll be well prepared ourselves to get what we want. Also the money. Money will be very precious on that front. Alright. What's this reward for us? A knight's bow, and my inventory is full! Ay, 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 ay. What is this doing here? Get this out of here. Who needs a 12 power bow when I get a 26 power bow? Mm hmm. Alright. Let's get our reward, yeah? Thank you. Spirit Orb Obtained. That's number four. Thank you.